refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Razaban IFL TV proudly sponsored by Evelas. I'm here in Birmingham, hometown of Tyler Denny. Tyler, good to see you, mate. How are we feeling? Oh, good man. Excited now. Hard work's done. Fight week. Start winding down a bit and uh, looking forward to it. Must be nice though, considering uh, we'll come onto your run of fights over the last 12 months. But must be nice knowing I can finish camp. I don't have to travel anywhere. I don't really have to check in the hotel. I know you probably will for the last few days, but. Nice to be in your home patch. Yeah, it's nice. Lying in my own bed and stuff and just, just relax. Just relax. The art, like I said, the artwork's done. Normally it's rushing around and doing this. And even like the stress of tickets from beforehand and stuff, I can just relax with it all now. It's just everything's local. Nice. Are we going to see quite a few of your supporters, fans, family members here? Yeah, definitely. Like, it's been hard for me, really. I still sell a few, but like, fighting in London and Manchester or whatever, it's, it's obviously more difficult. So I should have about, I've done about 500, so it's building up. And if we can fight more local more often, it's up to me now, isn't it? Put a performance on Saturday and we can build from there. Does it help when people like Casey Benjamin's on it as well, Shekhan Peters is on it as well, so quite a few of you br Brummy lads? Yeah, definitely. And I'm, um, Kirsty Badminton as well, do you know what I mean? Local as well, Corey Gibbs, as Ben Whitaker, do you know what I mean? But like, we're like just crossed over the divide, black country side of side, but everyone's local, everyone's it's good, man, because I was saying we need to have a show in Brum, but if no one comes to support, they're not going to do it. Oh, it's bad for business, and uh, it seems like it's sold well as well, so atmosphere's going to be banging. Boxer, I've got a couple of fighters where they're just quietly in the background, you know, doing the work outside of the ring, doing the work in the ring. We saw Dan Aziz now go to Paris, win the European title, just quietly having a phenomenal career and a phenomenal kind of route to his goal, which is a world title. And yourself now as well. If you look at the tw last 12 months, you've been in some really good names. Wilson Ben, obviously, oh, that, was, that was two fights. Uh, Brady Ray as well, a fantastic win there. And you're constantly improving. It's not just like you're winning, but you're, you're showing everybody your, the constant improvements that you're making. It's in the, in the gym day and day, two, three times a day. So um, he's got to come in. If you put the hard work, it'll come. And like you say, Dan Aziz, um, not, he's probably, if I had to pick someone I'd look up to in British boxing, Stan Aziz, he's, he's done everything the right way. And he, look at the fights he has. And like you said, his last one's gone away and, and beat the guy. And, you know, he just gives you the inspiration that he can be done. And that, that's what I want to follow in that sort of path. Do you feel like you're, you've got a lot more to show us? Is there a lot more of Tyler Dane that we haven't seen yet? Yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah. Like, sometimes in my spas, I've caught it and I thought, whoa, a million dollars. <laughs> and then, like, even the second we were fighting, I was disappointed in myself. Um, I got the win, but I know what I'm capable of. The last fight, Brad Paul's is a bit scrappy, but sometimes you got to get the win in you, by any means necessary. Uh, obviously, Saturday night is Macaulay McGowan, um, trained by Joe Gallagher. Yeah. He was out, I think, in February. Uh, I was there in, in Paris, yeah. and, and he won that fight. It was yeah, Clint, yeah, obviously, yeah. won that fight. Uh, he got a draw, top of my head. Um, so he's game as they come, so it's not a, a walkover on Saturday night. Oh, no, I, I don't know a walkover fight. It's to be fair, do I? Um, it's a fight that gets me up for you, because I know he's going he's gonna to be game. And I'm glad, in a way, he's got another opportunity after getting stitched up, because it was a clear stitch up. Um, but I hope he goes on to end as well stuff, but just not at my expense. So uh, I've just got to take care of him on Saturday. And I'm expecting a real tough, the hardest fight of my life. Um, that's what I've prepared for and that's what I'm expecting. Um, but I think if I turn up, I, I, I should be should get the win. 500 tickets sold, surely there's a bit of pressure now. All those family, friends are going to be here. Or do you thrive of that? To be fair, 500, I'm normally fighting away, so even with the people there, it makes no difference to me. I just get tunnel vision when that, my ring, my ring sun comes on, I just look to the ring and that's it. I could be 500 or five people there. Um, it's just my competitive nature, I just want to win, regardless who's there or whatever. Um, I don't even take it in, I should take it in more and embrace it and enjoy it a bit more, but I just, you know, I'm in a bit of a blur. Uh, yeah, but I'm just glad for the support and I thank everyone for coming out and showing me the support that 
it's been it's been difficult and you know a lot of people said oh if it was a bit more local we would do and like you kind of think yeah whatever but now I've had a local one everyone's come out so um, big respect to them so we know what 2022 looked like and the last 12 months looked like for you what does the next 12 months and the remainder of 2023 look like in your in your ideal in your ideal plan you know I don't like make too much plans because I thought I'd have got the British title shot this year um, and that never happened anyway so um, I think all I can do is take care of what's in my control and win my next fight win my next fight if I, if I have that mentality of just win your next fight the belts and the money and everything will all come together won't they but is there like you know fighters say he's a man in the division that's who I want or you yearn a certain fight or you want a certain fight is it a fighter or fighters that you say listen they're on my hit list in the most respectful way because I know you don't like calling fighters out it's not, it's not even calling fighters out it's just I'm not that I just want whoever's going to give me the most money to be fair do you know what I mean I've got four kids at home um, I, I need to, um, to I want, if I can maximise the money I, and it sounds a bit rough but I'd, I'd take that over the belts to be fair do you know what I mean I just want to but to get them money fights they've got to be good hard fights anyway and my record shows that I'd fight anyone so no one can ever say to me you've got this guy you don't want to fight this guy I'd fight them all just give me the best offer and I'm there I know you had kids I didn't know you had four but <laughs> any of them coming to the fight? Nah nah I'm a bit I'm a bit, a bit worried about it. I've got like, my oldest is 11 but I just think I mean to be fair my mum my mum will have them on the night and then they'll watch it with my mum anyway do you know what I mean but I just think I just I couldn't put them through it, do you know what I mean? Say if something bad happened or something and scarred for life about it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, they're old enough and they probably take them account before I look anyway, that's not them like. But um nah, maybe a, maybe a bit older. Maybe a bit older. Uh, Tyler, remind me how old you are. Thirty one. Thirty one year old fighter boxer with four kids, you know. You just mentioned this, it's about, you know, of course the belts were complex, it's all about the money. You know, how much of this do you do for your kids? I do everything for them really. It's, I just want to get them a you know, better lifestyle than, I won't say what I've had because yeah, like my, my parents give me everything that they could have, do you know what I mean? But it's, um, I'd like to give them stuff, but still getting the same discipline out of them and stuff. I don't want to spoil them too much, it's kind of be, I can be a bit guilty of as well sometimes. They've got to have the values and stuff. And you know, I'm funny, like um, my daughter put the heater on not long ago, and I told her not to put it on. And she left it on overnight, and the bill was you know, you get the electric thing, it was five pounds at like 6 a.m. in the morning. So <laughs> for the next time we went to the shop, I bought the other kids somewhere until she she not got the five pounds. She, she had to miss out at like one pound fifty each time just to prove her a lesson, but um. Yeah, everything's for them, everything's for them. But you know, you know when you've got kids, uh, do you feel like your concentration levels, your goals, your ambitions, your desire, your hard work, by having that responsibility at home, has helped you in the ring? Yeah, definitely. It, it, does, it gives you a reason of why, why you want to get up. Cause nah, I don't want to get up at 6am or 5.30am. 5.30am, normally get up. And, especially when it's been over the winter times and that it's cold and freezing rain and you have to get up and run. But then you reason why. But, you know, at the same time, if I, say if I was to lose and I wouldn't box, I know I've got a great relationship with my kids. I'm still going to be there, still going to love me. But, you know, I just want to provide for them whatever I can. Just so finally, um, Saturday we'll see a Brit. Travel all the way to Mexico in Guadalajara. Um, John Ryder takes on a, a difficult task fighting one of the best fighters of our times in Sao Canelo Alvarez. Um, quick prediction and do you give Ryder any chance? I'd love him to, to be fair. I, um, if I said I'd give him a big chance, I'd be lying, but you know. So it's been, it, it'd be up there with the biggest shock for like, a British boxer, I think, in history. So. He doesn't look good really on that way, but at the end of the day, I've just been about money. I don't know what money he's getting, but he's getting good money in So, and you got to believe you're the best, and he's got his earned, he's earned that, and he beat Zach Parker last time out. So, I, I wish him well, man. I, I'd love him to uh, beat Canelo. I'd love him to, but I'd have to pick a Canelo win. Tyler, wish you the best Saturday night, my man. Uh, presser tomorrow, weigh in Friday, so another few more days. Hopefully, the sun stays out for us as well. Yeah, and we'll catch up with you the rest of the week. Awesome, man. Thank you. Tyler Denny, IFL TV, thank you very much. Because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shot up, Harry. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they guilt me. Right, the bounce is guilty. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, 
and I see it every day. 